Hi, Jeff Gelbach here. I've done some stuff this week at DevJam 2018 using um, the REST API of ServiceNow to create a sort of proof of concept quality trouble ticketer integration with ServiceNow. This is, I think, the sixth time I've started to write one of these. And uh, this time I'm determined to make it stick, so I did it the right way. I made it an OSGI feature and I actually put it into a feature branch and it's been building and making RPMs and stuff. And I have a non-Franken system demo to, uh, to show everybody who's interested in seeing this develop further. So I'll show you first that there is nothing up my sleeve. All of the stuff on this system, this is a Vagrant box that I'm running on. This is all installed from RPMs that were built by Bamboo, our continuous integration system. So I've got the regular old web app and core, and then I've got the Ticketer ServiceNow plugin RPM installed as well. I'll show you a little bit about how we configure the integration. show you the redacted version that doesn't have the password for my developer instance of ServiceNow, which anybody can go get one. Go to developer.servicenow without the hyphen.com, sign up for an account, and you can spin up a very temperamental, goes to sleep on a whim, but works, developer instance of the ServiceNow platform. I'm just using the admin account that comes with it as the REST integration user. And the password I've obscured here, but in the real version of that file, it's present. Just like setting up any of the other OSGI-based plugins, there is a step here. So we got to go tell, here we go. We've got to go tell OpenNMS to use the OSGI-based ticketer plugin. This is the same as if you were setting up the Jira or TSRM ones. I've got a trouble ticket link template that actually creates a live clickable link over to your ServiceNow instance. In this case, this is my developer instance that's baked right into my URL. And we just substitute the ID of the incident that we've created here into that URL. Got to turn that on. That way it'll show up in our web UI when you're viewing the details of an alarm. Of course, there are many ways to drive this, so I'm just demoing a couple of them. Once you've done that, We'll go install the feature. Ah, try again. There we go. So we'll say feature install service now trouble ticketer. Okay, that's done. And we'll go back over here to the web where I've got a node in my database on which I've created an SSH outage earlier this afternoon. So we will view that node's alarms. Since alarms are the integration point for trouble ticketers, click on the alarm of interest here. And since I turned on the alarm trouble ticket property in the openNMS.properties file, we have these buttons related to ticket creation, updating and closing, which are not normally present unless you've turned on an integration and also enabled that, uh, that trouble ticketer link. So I'm going to click this create ticket button and we'll see where there was previously an empty ticket state, it's gone to create pending. This happens asynchronously in the background. It's just like any of our other ticket plugins. So I could wait a couple minutes and let this page refresh itself, but I'm impatient. So I'll hit control R and boom. Now we have a ticket ID associated with this alarm. So that is actually the number of an incident in my ServiceNow developer instance. And click it and it takes me right over here and we can see the short description and the description are filled in with data from the alarm. It ain't fancy. For instance, at the moment it does not know how to look up a caller and fill that in. It does not know how to look up an impacted configuration item or business service or any of those things. That stuff will all come. But uh, just for showing that, yeah, absolutely, we can definitely create a ServiceNow incident as an OpenNMS trouble ticket integration that's there and it's in a, serv in a uh, feature branch. If you're interested in the REST API itself, there is a reference on the ServiceNow developer site. Uh, we're just operating against the table API. So to create these incidents, I'm just behind the curtain. I'm just doing a post to slash now slash table slash incidents, posting a JSON document that describes the incident that I want to create. 
and getting back a response that gives me all the stuff about the incident that's been created. Also, as a bonus, I've got Helm up over here, and we'll be able to see in Helm as well as in the OpenNMS web app that we have a ticket ID associated with this alarm in OpenNMS, and that I think also is a clickable link as well. Yep. So you can get there either from Helm or from the OpenNMS main web app. And that's pretty much it for now. Any questions? It's not pager duty? No, it's not. You're right. It's service now. I'm assuming all off will be an option instead of credentials. Yeah, service now supports OAuth. I it's just a matter of adding support for it to the plugin. It's trivially easy to do. Hmm? It's a smop. It's a smop. Simple matter of programming. Exactly. Other questions? All right, let's eat Chinese food.